I'm happiest of all this morning because as principal assistant to the president, the dignity of my boss is paramount and the directives that he issues should be implemented expeditiously without fail. So this system helps our officers across government to keep a tab on what is happening and have a feedback, feedback mechanism of what the president has directed and the implementation matrix. We have had instances for the last two years where our officers have led the president down. The president of the Republic of Kenya is a symbol of national unity. Then his office is a symbol of authority for the Republic. When he pronounces himself on a matter, that matter is as good as law. So it is incumbent upon officers across government, led by our CSs and the PSs, to make sure that we dignify the person and the office of the president by expeditiously implementing directives that he has issued across the country. So with the launch of this system for managing information on his directives, I'm confident that by the end of the year, all the presidential directives that have so far been issued will be audited, worked on, and implemented to the satisfaction of the people of Kenya. All of us whom the president has given the privilege to serve have a solemn duty to dignify him and his office by making sure that whatever pronouncement he makes across the country is implemented without fail. And I want leader to thank all our public servants for their patriotism and commitment to serve the people of Kenya. And lead it to see that we have got a good public service because it ensures continuity when there is change of government. And therefore, we ask the public service that it is a custodian of the Kenyan state because it keeps things going even when there is change of government. So I want to encourage all public servants to continue serving this country with dedication, commitment, and patriotism because we owe it to the people of Kenya. The dignity of my boss is paramount and the directives that he issues should be implemented expeditiously without fail. So this system helps our officers across government to keep a tab on what is happening and have a feedback, feedback mechanism of what the president has directed and the implementation matrix. We have had instances for the last two years where our officers have led the president down. The president of the Republic of Kenya is a symbol of national unity. Then his office is a symbol of authority for the Republic. When he pronounces himself on a matter, that matter is as good as law. So it is incumbent upon officers across government, led by our CSs and the PSs, to make sure that we dignify the person and the office of the president by expeditiously implementing directives that he has issued across the country. So with the launch of this system for managing information on his directives, I'm confident that by the end of the year, all the presidential directives that have so far been issued will be audited, worked on, and implemented to the satisfaction of the people of Kenya. All of us 
whom the president has given the privilege to serve, have a solemn duty to dignify him and his office by making sure that whatever pronouncement he makes across the country is implemented without fail. I'm therefore very happy with the launch of this system that we shall keep track and ensure that those directives are implemented to the letter. Again, we are also happy on the issues of foreign travel so that we are prudent in the use of resources when traveling out of the country. We have had distances where almost everybody is traveling and sometimes you are left to wonder who remains behind to buy the house. With the launch of this system, I have no doubt in my mind, we will be more prudent and we will rationalize those who are authorized to travel out of the country on official business and clearly justify the use of public funds out of the country. So this is a good day for the public service and these two systems will help us to be more efficient and work to the satisfaction of the people of Kenya. Again, it's a revolution for those of us who started our career in the public service. This is a great milestone because when we entered the public service in the year 1989, everything was manual and uh, we were still working and working efficiently. But the world has gone digital. The world is now a global village and we must move with the times. So this is another very important milestone for the public service in the Republic of Kenya. And I want leader to thank all our public servants for their patriotism and commitment to serve the people of Kenya. And leader to say that we have got a good public service because it ensures continuity when there is change of government. And therefore, we ask the public service that it is a custodian of the Kenyan state because it keeps things going even when there is change of government. So I want to encourage your public servants to continue serving this country with dedication, commitment, and patriotism because we owe it to the people of Kenya. Asante Nisana Mungu the launch of the Foreign Management Information Systems and the Presidential Directive Management Information System is not just a technological advancement, it is a profound affirmation of our unwavering commitment to the government's digital agenda. The government of Kenya continues to lead by example, spearheading initiatives that position our nation at the forefront of the digital governance. The bottom-up dig digital economic transformation agenda places the honors of the Ministry of Information, Communication, and the Digital Economy to deliver the digital superhighway. This pillar encompasses the ambitious task of laying 10,000 kilometer of fiber, establishing 1,450 digital hubs, creating 25,000 public Wi-Fi hotspots, and providing last mile connectivity to 2.5 million homes, institutions, and enterprises. Moreover, it mandates us to drive the digitization of government services and records, ensuring that no citizen is left behind in the digital era. The development of and deployment of the foreign travel information management system is a testament to our resolve to enhance efficiency and accountability within the highest echelons of government. This end-to-end -end automated system streamlines the process of foreign travel clearance for cabinet secretaries, principal secretaries, chairpersons, and CEOs of state corporations, all of whom require approval from His Excellency, the President, through the Office of the Chief of Staff and Head of Public Service. The foreign uh, travel information management system will significantly reduce our reliance on paper-based processes, saving both time and resources, while its inbuilt mechanism ensures strict adhe adherence to established policies 
I think we have all seen the key features that it has that will really make our management much easier. We commit from our side that will ensure we continue to support the government to achieve the serve effective service delivery and also to ensure that there is efficiency through the tools that are being uh, launched today. The two systems, Your Excellency, will go a long way ensuring that we have visibility of what's going on in the government, uh, the commitments that come through presidential directives, and also in the travel arrangements that our officers do across the government. The system now starts with the high level, the top leadership in government. As a ministry, we will continue to enhance this and in the long run to ensure all officials are supported by this system so that we can achieve better efficiency.